All right, so what's up? You got your girl Alyssa Monet. I'm sitting here with a special guest, Mookie Kane in the building. Well, how you doing? Great, man. Great, man. Can't complain. Yeah, yeah. Um, we actually, we semi go back. We knew, we know of each I don't really know you like that. I'm not even going to say we know each other like that. because, But we went to high school together. We went to Mallet Creek. And I believe you went to Ridge Road? Yeah, yeah. We went to Ridge Road together. So, you know, we know of each other. We, um, you know, been around the same area. Um, but anyway, about to get in here, we about to get real. You told me a little bit of things last night, um, briefly, but um, I feel like it's gonna be a good show today. Let All me pour these drinks up, though. I know you don't drink. We're gonna definitely. Matter of fact, we can just start off with that since we're talking about it. What what made you not like? Have you always not drank or? Yeah, I ain't never been drunk before. Never. Never. <laughs> never. You ain't never took a shot. Yeah, I done took shots before, like, but one time. <laughs> And it burnt my throat. I said, this ain't me. It was over for us, yeah. man. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so, boom. How long you been doing music? Been about two years now. Two years? What made you start? Like, I ain't gonna lie. This little rap group, Young Niggas With Money, from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, mm -hmm. influenced me in a major way. Like, if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be rapping. Um... How you get in contact with them? Like how you? I ain't even get in contact with them just from listening to them coming up, and it's like a different type of music. It's like I'm living this stuff, so I can rap too. You feel me? So it gave me motivation to just jump out there and rap about my life. Have you always gone by Mookie Kane, or are you like? Yeah, how Mookie you get that Kane. name? My dog gave it to me, and I just ran with it ever since then. You ran with it. I feel you. I like it. It's dope. <laughs> Appreciate um, it. How many projects you got out right now? I got two. My third one finna drop shortly. This summer for sure. This summer? You don't got an exact date? Nah, I ain't got a date for them yet. Alright, I see. Here you go. I'm at the point. Alright, that's what's up. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I was listening to one of your projects that you had. I saw that the, um, the cover for it was No Love. Yeah. Yeah, where'd that come from? <laughs> Just going through pain at the time, you feel me? Feeling like I ain't had no love in me. I feel you. So I was listening to one song, and you spoke on a female. <laughs> you spoke on a female about how she um. She turned your back on you when things got rough. Let's talk about Type that. Shit. What happened? What what? What was what you going through? I don't. It's just like with that situation. Like, she was always there. When it when I was straight on my behalf and shit, but like when shit got ugly and I needed that same shit, it was just like it wasn't the same. You feel me? Mhm. Mm and that shit hurt. Right. You feel? Me? You was in love? Nah, I wasn't in love, but it was. I really fucked with the person, so it was like you feel me. I wasn't in love, but I really fucked with her. So for her to like dip out when things is rough, that's always hard though, especially when you trust somebody and you, you feel put, me? yeah. So, yeah, I feel you. That's rough. Um, you spoke on, like, friends, like, not... So, you've been incarcerated? I've been incarcerated, yeah. How are you? You said what? How old were you? I I first got in trouble at 14. And it's been, like, 14 through, like, 18 type shit. Mm -hmm. Back and forth. Back mm -hmm. and forth. What was you getting in trouble for, if you don't mind me asking? It was just, like, stupid stuff. Like, pistol charge, robberies larcenies and shit like that. Just stupid young nigga shit. Stolen cars and shit like that. True. Yeah, yeah. young nigga <clears throat> shit, basically. Yeah. Just trying to... I you wouldn't really... Do thing. Yeah, you know. <laughs> um, you spoke on, like, your boys not being there for you, like, while you was incarcerated, you know, looking out for you. Yeah. Um, did you, like, when you got out, how you react to that? Like, how that made you feel towards them? Like, I had this charge into the game, like, you feel me? Like, my mama, she held it down. So I was like, I can't expect nobody else to do nothing for me. I don't expect, like, I discharged it to the game. It was like, fuck it, you feel me? That Next was, time I know I'm going to handle myself type shit. It was an eye-opener, basically. Yeah, an eye-opener. You was young. You feel me? So to be dealing with that kind of stuff and you young, I know that that was kind of confused, like, I wouldn't really say confusing, but it's a lot to deal with. Like, you still, like, learning yourself. You still learning exactly. life. And to be exactly. dealing with, like, you realizing your friends really ain't 
you know, what they say they mm-hmm. gonna do, like, who they is, and they don't do what they say they gonna exactly. do. Exactly, so loyalty and shit. It's, and it's, it sucks, because you be like, damn, if it was me, I would've did this, this, and that. My loyalty run deep, like, and then you 100. got people on your on your team that you like, damn, nigga, where was you at? You saying, that's why I said, I just charged it to the game and just kept it moving, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Learn how to hold my own. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so your music, your music was pretty deep. I'm not, it was, um, I do, like, advise anybody to go listen to his music right now it's only available on spamrilla correct uh, i got some on youtube okay and i got some old uh music on Sp- uh soundcloud but mostly spinnerilla spinnerilla yeah. yeah so y'all go check that out for sure <clears throat> um but boom last night when we was talking when we just you know got a little bit of detail you was telling me about some things that you've been going through with the last year go ahead and open up with us about that like start from the beginning of where it started going downhill. The beginning. Yeah. What I happened? say, like, I had just recently got over, like, depression and shit type shit. I say the beginning, I don't know. I guess a relationship. Mm-hmm. Folks around me said I started changing. And then, like, I kind of lost myself type shit. You feel me? And then at the end, it hurt me because... I ended up losing everybody I had lost. I mean, everybody I had loved and everything that I had loved. So that shit, like, real hurt me at that time. Right. So in the relationship, people was like, you changing. Like, you you doing this, this, and that because you're in a relationship. People exactly. are not really fucking with you. And then it turns out, like, she wasn't even, I'm not even, I don't know what happened. But um, she wasn't down. Like, like what happened? Yeah, it, it was just like that. She wasn't down and shit. People said I was changing. And getting in my feelings and shit, you feel me? I wasn't me no more. So, like, I started falling out with people that that I was around and shit. And then thinking, like, she was in my corner type shit. And then when it came down to it, she wasn't there neither. And that shit hurt me, like, real disappointed type shit, you feel mm-hmm. me? It sucks being disappointed, especially when you're young and in love. And for you sure, think, like, for sure. That's really about to be your, you know, <laughs> you your know girl. You know what I'm saying? Feel so. me. I definitely feel the depression. Did the depression just come from that, or like? I mean, it was like that, and I lost like some close friends during the shit. Right. And then like I had lost everything, like you know, everything wasn't going right. Right. Um, in the song you also mentioned like you had to change your mindset, like law of attraction. Is that like during the time that you were going through the depression? Like, how did you? Nah, that was a little before that. That was a little before that. Uh, but how did I snap out of it? To be real, I prayed on it, uh-huh. and God answered it. Answered it for sure. Mm-hmm. I was in that pain. I got on my knees and said a prayer, and then one day I was just like, I don't even feel it no more. You feel me? One day I woke up like, I ain't, you know, feel me? It don't bother me no more. You been right through it all? I I wasn't. See? I wasn't. Well, how your music that you about to release is it gonna reflect at all any of the pain? Cause that's you know that's yeah, good music. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. But I just had to get over that, cause I don't know, I can't. Like me, I'm a Libra. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I need love, so I can't work. I can't work like feeling like that. Right. You feel me? I wasn't fit at the right mind, so I wasn't at the right mind state to work. So I was just wasting time. But my next project. It, yeah, some of the best music so far. Boom. That's how. That's what I like to hear. You got any videos coming soon with that? I got some visuals coming up real soon. I got a lot of coming for the people. All right. They just got to stay tuned. Tell, well, go ahead and tell them where they can find you. They can find me on YouTube. They can fi- follow me on Instagram at Mookie Kane underscore. I got plenty of stuff coming for y'all for sure. That's, that's good. That's good. Um... Depression, relationships. I actually just got out of a relationship. I'm not going to say I was depressed, but I have been depressed before. Like, yeah. I wanna, it's good that you actually figured it out, too, and that you got over it. That's always a blessing. Well, um, yeah, like, um, how long were you in a relationship? Like, a year and a half, going on two years type shit. How, deep, like, how, deeply, how deeply invested were you? Like, why did Me, you, I was all the way. All the way? Shit, all the way. Cause like if I fuck with you, like I ain't gonna have fuck with you. If you my nigga or my girl, like oh you feel me? If you if I say I fuck with you, it's all the way. I ain't gonna fake it. So I was all in. 
Okay. But that's how it should be, though. Um, so it sucks when somebody don't respect it enough and, and definitely don't reciprocate the same um, type of energy. And then it ends up like that. But, you know, we all go through stuff. We learn from it. And yeah, it just makes us stronger all. for the next. Um, don't let it mess up your next relationship. Like, don't re don't realize that all girls are not the same. <laughs> you just got to be more cautious. But you can't. I don't can't know. Hold on. I ain't going to. I ain't. I, I don't. I ain't with relationships no more. I'm gonna say that. Well, for right Until now. I find the one. Yeah, for right now, <laughs> you're not. Which is a good thing. You should only be focused on what you got going, especially since you took that long for break. Sure. Uh, we're not really, you know, doing anything um, for yourself. Mm -hmm. Music should always, or whatever you love to do, but, but with you, it's music. So that should always, you should never have nothing to come in between that. So I'm glad that you're back doing what you like to do. For um, sure. You saw you spoke in a song saying that you felt like you were a failure. That's deep. Like back then, being a juvenile, I kept like going to jail. I started feeling like a failure and shit, cause it's like that shit wasn't cool, and it's like I'm missing school. I'm supposed to be in school, but I'm in jail and shit, fighting charges and shit, like facing time and shit, and it's like. I started feeling like a failure, like, damn, I keep coming back and back, like, this shit lame. So then that's when I started studying, studying laws of attraction, and I learned how to change my mindset. What made you, like, who put you onto that? Like, I put myself on it, like, just trying to be successful, mm -hmm. you know, that change, like, saying, I just want to be successful in life now, like, learning new shit, and then I just came across that, you know, you feel me? Who, um, like, who do you look up to? Like, who, do you listen to anybody or not even music? Like, is there anybody, like, motivation-wise that you listen to that kind of, like, puts you on? Because I know, like, being, wanting to be successful and trying to, like, study the right thing and um, take in the right thing, but being in our generation, it's kind of hard to kind of stay on track. It's kind of, yeah. it's hard to be disciplined. And it's hard to be, to not get distracted because we got a lot of people that's out here, like, doing anything, whatever. For sure, for sure. Um, so how do you, like, how do you stay on the right track? Is it hard? I mean, I just, for you? I stay to myself. You feel me? I know what I want. I know what I don't want. So, you know what I'm saying? It's easier to put yourself in better places when you know what you don't want. And I, you feel me? I just do what I want to do. Do what I like doing. You read? I mean, I don't really read like that. I read, though, I, I'm mostly on the internet. Like, I read on the internet if that's considered reading. Yeah, I mean, any type of reading is reading. Any type of information is... Yeah, I get the information off my phone and stuff like that. Um, I look up to do, like, like Rollo. I mm -hmm. look up to him. He's, like, very motivational. The most motivational rapper. My my most motivational... Most motivational motivational rapper. Mm -hmm. I, I look up to Young Scooter, like dudes like Casino, like uh, Young Dolph, mm -hmm. like people that's like CEOs, they got their own labels type shit. Is that what you want to do? Like you want to get your own like record label? Yeah, the like I kind of already got it. Like you feel me? Oh, speak on. Yeah, like Life is Music Records. That's okay. my shit. Okay. So what I got going on, Stamp and you know, got going right. So you really ain't got a team, it's really just you. Not yet. Not You're yet. You're working on it. I'm working on it. Well, be patient, it's gonna get there. For sure, for sure. Don't rush nothing, because the yeah. right people will come in. For sure. Um, that's what's up, though. You said, what's it called? Life? Life is music record. How you come up with that? Because I was, like, trying to come up with something, and I was just like, like, I just rap about my life. So my life is my music, and my music is my life. You feel me? So... Life is music records, that's why I just went with it. What your mama say about you making music? She, uh, like, I don't know. She don't really believe in it right now. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna cap. So, you know, I'm just going hard, trying to make her proud. But she don't see what I see. But that's okay, you feel me? But that's, okay. that's straight. She'll see it. She'll see it for sure. You keep working hard. That's how it usually is when you see a vision. Um, A lot of family wants you so bad to be successful and mm -hmm. they see something they see your vision is so like broad but as long as you like keep grinding for it and you keep doing it they'll eventually like start supporting you they'll be like oh like he for real about it she for real about it boom they'll hop on your team i've experienced it firsthand 
Um, yeah, he'll come. Yeah, so yeah, definitely stay down. I definitely support you. Um, All right. Whatever. I'm glad you, uh, you know, reached out. I'm glad we got to sit down and talk about, you know, some of the things that you got going. Cause I didn't even know. Like <laughs> I didn't even know you had this stuff going on. And I love to support people um, in my generation and definitely people that I've already had contact with. Yeah. Well, um, right. That's even better to see people I went to school with doing something good. Um, especially you like me just knowing the type of people that you was like I knew like some of the things that you were doing back then so to see that you kind of flipped your life around kind of I don't yeah. know what you got going on right now I haven't well, really hey. I ain't really heard nothing about it but I like like I'm proud of you um like I'm, sure. I'm glad you're doing the things that you're doing um for sure um do you still hang out with the same boys like is it still the same I mean I just be by myself most of the time but it's like I'm cool with people, you feel me? But I just be cool, cool cooling about myself most of the time and shit. What made you get like that? Like, what made you step back and be like, I'm about to just go double? Being blind and seeing how people move and just seeing, like, you feel me? Just seeing how people live and shit. I'm big on loyalty. I'm big on that shit. So that's what made me stand like that. And I was by myself for like four times, so I was just like, you gotta learn how to hold your own, you feel me, without nobody. Got to, so, shit. You haven't been hurt too many times. You feel me? And it sucks when you, like, it already sucks when you get hurt in a relationship, so getting hurt by your friends is just like, damn, nigga, I trust you. You supposed to be my boy, you supposed to be my brother, like, we done, like, did boom, boom, boom together, like, you supposed to be there for me during this as well. Yeah, you feel me? So. But it's all right, though, because all that shit made me strong, though. Yeah, of course. That's what it's supposed to do. Like, he got to know what he's doing. For I, sure. I seen, like, I was, when I, after I realized, like, who you were, I went on your page just to kind of, you know, do a little bit of research. I seen, are you Muslim? Yeah, Where, I am. How, Have you always been Muslim? No, nah, I wasn't. I was born Christian. How you switch, like, what made you switch over? Just, like, studying knowledge and then, like, studying knowledge and then God just let me you know, to that, for sure. What, like, I'm still, like, take us back to the beginning. What, like, who put you on? Like, what put you on? What did you read exactly, or who did you, who were you listening to, um, to actually, like, damn, I'm thinking about going Muslim. Because, like, with the Christian thing, since I was a kid, like, I used to ask my mama, like, is God and Jesus like the same person type stuff, you feel me? Like, if that's supposed to be the son, blah, blah. So she was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they the same person. But I don't know that this, it just never made sense to me how it could be like three people in one. And then like, but I, I was with it. I was with I was a Christian for a minute. And then that's when I started getting like knowledge about like the world and all that stuff, the earth. And I was just like, a question, I was like, I only believe that humans could have been, came here one one way, so why so much religion? You feel me? True. So I, I had stepped back from religion and was like, I don't know, because who right? Who, who's to say who right? So I'm going to just pray to one God, because I know it's a God. I'm smart enough to know ain't no man make me. Mm-hmm. So, you feel me? And then I had met a Muslim, and, and I used to always wonder, like, I ain't never get that, like, who is Muhammad to y'all type stuff? Because I thought, like, that's what they thought was God. But he explained me, he explained it to me, and that was, like, the best thing for me. Who? Islam. Oh. Uh, no, who, like, who explained everything to you? Like, do you? Like, uh, it was a couple of them. Okay. But this dude named Amin. Okay. Um, that's what's up. I feel like if, as long as you believe in somebody. For sure. Um. That's always a good thing. Um, I'm personally Christian, but I feel like it, it is a whole lot of different religions. Um, and who's to say, like, who is right, just like you said. So as long as you believe in somebody um, or some somebody, God of a higher power, I feel like um, that would be on the right direction. Especially now, so, again, with this generation and just the, like, I feel like everybody's stepping away from religion, which is not a good thing. Everybody's yeah, like... Ain't this universe type of thing. Like, no, there is a higher, you there is a higher yeah. guy. Like, there is a guy. The universe is not, is not just what's happening. Like, you need to pray. It's not just about, like, oh, car- like, 
karma, the stars align. Like, I'm like, really y'all tripping. Like, <laughs> no, that's not how things is rocking. Um, so, you've been doing music for two years. When will you finally, like, be like, damn, I made it? Like, what moment do you envision where you're going to be like, or what, where can you, what can you not wait for? What can I not wait for? To have the number one album in the world. That's when you're going to feel like you made it? Yeah. When I look at my shit, number one, I'm gonna be like, yeah, they fucking with me for sure now. Yeah. You feel me? Like, it's it's up there. That's what's up. I feel like like I've been seeing pictures of different um, artists, and I, it's always like a picture of somebody um, from their backside performing, and it's like a whole bunch of people. And yeah. A whole bunch of likes. Yeah. I'm like, dang, I know these people <laughs> soaking that in. like. I, for Can't me, wait. right? For me, I would feel emotional because I get emotional with stuff like that. Something I, <clears> I've been working so hard for. Um, and then you get like that. So I always envision like that being the moment. Me and mine, though. Yeah. Have you performed at all? Yeah, I've I had some performances. How, how are you with stage presence? I'm all right. I, I ain't going to lie, I still get a little nervous. <laughs> I get a little nervous. I still get a little nervous, nervous before I get on stage, but it's all right. But once I get on stage and start doing my thing, like, you feel me? I don't be tripping. Have you performed in any other place but Charlotte? Nah, nah. All my shows have been in the city. You got a show coming up? Not as of right now. Not as of right now. You got any projects with anybody? Any features? I like working solo. Yeah? Yeah. I ain't really big on features. Because right it's an art, so I yeah. want to, like, you know what I'm saying? Showing what I got. Yeah. Showing what I could do by myself. I feel you. It's definitely good to start working with people in the city, though. That's more, like, um, fan base. Somebody either. just told me that today. Yeah. That's confirmation. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's confirmation. For so sure. It's definitely good to work with people. And then you're building um, not only a fan base, but you're building, um, I wouldn't really say friends, but good connections within the same industry. And that's always good. Because, yeah. look, boom, people was working. I'm pretty sure it the baby was working with people before he blew up and they're connected with him. They might not be popping yeah, yet, yeah. but they're still but connected. Yeah, okay. And that's a good type of connect to have, especially when, you, when you're trying to go, when you're trying to get um, big. Um, do you see yourself staying in Charlotte? Uh, for a little bit. I want to move to uh, Atlanta, though. Is it just for music, or is it just that some that's been something you've always wanted, somewhere you always wanted to live or go to? I mean, it just, it look like, I would say probably for music, for the music, because they doing real good in the music industry. And that's like the black Hollywood right now, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I want to go out there. So Have you what been? I got. Yeah, I've been there, but like not on my own yet type shit, you feel me? Or for focused on music and nothing like that. I'm I'm stuck with Charlotte. Like, I really feel like right now, Charlotte is a wonderful place to be in. For sure. With media, music, broadcasting. Business, all that. Everything. It's always been a good place for business <clears throat> and money because we got that headquarters for all the banks. Mm -hmm, it's always that. been like a good, good little business place. But for media... And um, entertainment is a great place to be. It's on right the rise now. right now. Yeah, it's on the rise. And it's good to be as young as we are because we can be the face of it, you know? Yeah. It's good to be right uh -huh. here. As long as we put in that dedication and that hard and work. And hard work. It's, it's definitely a good place, I feel like. I feel like you Charlotte mind, has the no. best potential right now. Um, Boom. We're going to go back a little, little, Already. little minute. Let's talk about your childhood. Like, um, How was that? I would just say, like, typical young young shit, like, young nigga, young nigga. You just want money. You want to be fly. You want the girls, you feel me? That's all that matter back then. So you just out here, you want to be grown. You doing what you want to do. You Like, you just want to be grown type shit. That that shit, now that I look back at it, I was, it was a lot of the dumb and stupid shit. But it was fun at the time. You think it's fun. But, I mean, honestly, it is fun. It's just stupid. Like, it's just, just stupid, yeah. Yeah, it is stupid. But we, it's, <laughs> a lot of stupid shit. A lot. 
Um, but like you said, we young and you you learn early. Mm-hmm. You learn. I'm glad for that. Yeah, you went through a lot early to make you learn, and you at a good age right now to kind of flip it. Um, well, I don't know how old you were when you flipped it, but you still at a good age. Like anybody that's flipping it right now is great. For sure. Um, did you like have any positive role models around you or like? Back then, no. Everybody was negative, like even the older people. Mm-hmm. And now that I done got older and realized how life go and how it's supposed to go, like they was leading me wrong. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It ain't about it. Ain't about all that stupid stuff. So even like family, like they was not. Was they hard on you as far as like things that you were doing, or were they just like say something but it wasn't really enforced? Like it was real nonchalant with the things that you were doing. I mean, I, me, I was just real hard-headed at the time, so I wasn't even listening. You feel me? Mama, she was she was always there. She was always the. You feel me? Like she ain't, mama ain't gonna wash your hands wash your hands with you. Yeah. But like pops, he got fed up. You feel me? We we went on bad terms and shit. But during that time, mama was always the. She ain't condone what I was doing, but like she ain't never gave up on me. And I fought with that. That's what's up. Your dad, was he in the house? Yeah, somewhat. Okay, so he wasn't absent. He was just, it was just, he gave up on you. Would you say that? Type shit, yeah. Damn. How did I would say that. How old were you when you realized, like, how old were you when you felt that? When you felt Like that? 14. So you felt, at 14 years old, you felt like your dad just gave up on you? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Like, we went kicking it. We went, like, man, I remember one year, it was like, we didn't even talk. Right. We living in the same house, you feel me? We didn't even talk. That's hard to deal with. I just dealt with it, though, and okay. kept it pushing. Charge it to the game. Charge it to the game. I mean, but as much as you say that now, like, that definitely had an effect on you. Um, Back then, it. though, I ain't, I ain't had no feelings, though, back then, so young. That's not always that feeling, good, though. though. That's, that's, they, that, that's what they used to say, though. That's what they used to say. But I didn't think I had feelings back then. You you had feelings. Like, you <laughs> had feelings. You probably just didn't like to deal with them. I ain't care about that. So it was like... What I made really, you get that way? I don't know. Being hurt? That's how... That's Not me. back then, though. Back then, I wasn't hurt, like, emotionally. I don't know. Do you think it had something to do with the people you were hanging out with? And how they... I guess it was just because I was so young and it was like, you don't got nothing to lose when you, you know, that young. So it's like, you don't care about nothing. You don't care about nothing. You feel me? Because you don't really got nothing to lose. You know, like, you know, whatever I do, like, (laughs) I'm going to come back to my mama crib at the end of the night. You feel me? Like, I got somewhere to stay. You don't really care about it. You ain't care about nothing. Was you spoiled? Nah, I wanna spoil it. Did you like when when you was going in and out of jail, like how your mom react to that? Was she always the one to get she you was to bail you like out? The or? main one hurt. You seen it? I seen it. How you felt? That's what made me like change cause the last bed I was on in visitation she had shed a tear. She started crying across the glass and like throughout the whole time. That was the first time like, I seen her cry. Mm. That's why I started rapping. Right. I had went back to the cell and was like, I gotta make, I gotta change something when I get out. I was like, I'm gonna start rapping. Started rapping. You feel me? It just, now it's like, I got something to live for. I got something to, to do, keep me out the way. So that's why I fought with the rap shit. Yeah. That's what's up, though. I'm glad music, like, you found something to kind of, like, distract you. 100. Wait, was you making music in high school? I wasn't. Yeah. Um, Mom, mom seemed like she got a whole lot of effect on you. It's moms. That's what's up, though. Um, I had a question. Boom. Hold on. Dang. I had a question. All right. So, in jail, a lot of people tell me, like, they got old heads, like, you know, teach, telling them one thing. Like, you was young. So, did you have, like, anybody in jail to kind of, like, that was talking to you? 
about certain things and like kind of like putting you on game? Yeah, my last bid, I was 18, so that was the first time I was in like adult, mm -hmm. the adult section. It was like some old heads, you know, telling me that some right shit, some real shit, I ain't gonna lie. And it helped me. Because, mm -hmm. especially in there, you seeing so much, I'm seeing so much situations, it's like, this ain't how I'm trying to live. Right. So, and it really helped me. That's what's up. Do you feel like your childhood at all played any, like, type of effect on how you were acting in middle school? Or was it just mainly, like, like you just trying to, or not high middle school, but high school, or was it you just trying to, like, do what, what you thought was cool at the moment? In high school. Did you feel it, like your it, early age had anything to do with it? <clears throat> I mean, I felt like my middle school had something to do with my high school. Because once it got to high school, it was like all the way out there already. You feel me? Like, it was all the way out there. Shit started to get deep mm -hmm. outside of school around that time. So I'll say, yeah, like... Middle school, the young shit, hopping off the porch early, that affected my high school shit. Like, I ain't even get to graduate. I had got a G, I got a GD. And it's like, I ain't want to drop out of school, but I was in the streets and I was like, wasn't focused on school. So that's like what came with it. At least you remember you your GD, because I know yeah. a lot of people that don't even do that. What, what motivated you to go do that? Cause mama. I was like, I want my mama to see me walk across that stage. You feel me? Like I always, I ain't want to drop out of school. I was gonna go back to high school, but I was just like, I'm too old now, and I ain't. You feel me? So I'ma just do this. How are you? I was, I would have been, I, w I was 19 when I got my GD, and then CMS. I was only in grade 10th grade, so I didn't wanna like. You are you feel serious? Me? I was no serious. Way. I don't even, I feel like you were there my my senior year, though. Like, I was. They had me in 11th grade classes and 10th grade classes. Oh, true. But, like, on the paper, it said grade 10. 10. Damn. Do you, like, um, now you say you go dolo. I remember in the song, you was talking about, you know, how, I'm not going to say their names, but you were speaking, like, Cause you went all, you said names and everything. I was like, hey, this is a tell all. Like you don't even care. Has anybody like hit you up after that song? After they heard it? I mean, yeah, people for sure had something to say about that song. What you say? I was like, I don't care. I that's how that's I feel. Truth. That's my feelings, yeah. It, it it ain't like you feel me. Like that's what it was. It wasn't like I was telling nothing that wasn't true or something. So people just had to respect the truth. True. Um. Boom. Do you still, like, you mentioned about one of your friends that, uh, like, y'all was about to go do something again, to like, towards an, one of your other friends, and you was like, damn, like, I can't even trust you. Exactly. That's crazy. Crazy as hell. Do you still hang out with that particular, like, did you cut, do you cut tides off when things like that happen, or do you just, like, fall back, but still keep, it, like, semi-communication? Like, and then, I had, like, just tied back, but, like, now, we don't communicate no more. I like, won't talk no more now. Was it because of the song or it happened before that? It happened before the song. It ain't had nothing to do with the girl. Like was he, was that one of the like reason was he one of the friends that like kinda of fell off as you while you was with your last relationship? Like was he yeah, one of the ones he talking was. about I mean, but that's not always a bad thing. Like you realize who like n God removes certain people out of your life for, for a sure. reason. Like, um, I've had friends that kind of like felt, my own family has felt like done things when they were in a relationship and it's like, damn, like, you really gonna do that to me? Your family, your friend, but loyalty, mm -hmm. you stick around, you just wait, like, you know what they, like, you know what it is, so you just gotta stick around, so anybody that's real, they'll stick around. For sure. Um, so he definitely removed the right people out of your life. Um, and I feel like he's going to continue to bring the right people in and continue taking the wrong For people sure. out. So, yeah, and I'm trusting it all the way. Yeah, that's the, always the best thing to do. Um, I'm excited for this new music, though. I'm excited to hear I know, story. right? I'm excited to hear You got a name for it? Mine on the Ticket. Mine that's on the, the Ticket. That's the name of the tape. How you come up with that? 
Cause I'm focused right now. You feel me? My mind on that ticket, on that meal ticket. Feed my family. What all? Like, what all you wanna do for your family? Like, what's your vision for your family? It's more than my family. You feel me? I wanna help out the world. You feel me? In the positive way. And your your role model, Rollo, right now. For sure. Do you feel like he is doing some of the things that you want to do as far as like changing? As when I see people I mean, like changing the world, I think of like, I'm, I'm not trying to be um, basic right now because Nipsey, everybody's on this Nipsey wave, but Nipsey did have a huge influence. I think Jay-Z so. got a huge he influence. He influenced me. Kevin Gates got a huge influence um, on when I think of like that. Mind you, I don't really, I listen to Rallo music, but I haven't really like dipped into his lifestyle. So I don't know what type of um, influence that I he like has. I like his personality more than his music. It, it's just, I fall for with him and what he stands for more than his music, for sure. True. Um, <clears throat> you mentioned about, well, I asked you about Muslim and you said you were um, Malcolm X. Do you do a lot of research on him? I ain't really been doing my research on him. I'm just studying Islam at the moment. You yeah, feel me? You still... But Malcolm X was a 100 dude, though. Mm -hmm. Real talk. Well, that's what's up. Like, I feel it. I feel... I definitely feel your pain. Like, I feel... Um, I understand. 100. And like I said before, like, I definitely support you. Like, keep definitely keep going. I'm glad we was able to sit down and talk about it. Um, I'm excited for your music. I'm excited to hear it. Your new projects, I can't. I feel like you do have like the, the vision. You for have sure. the discipline. Um, you hungry? Hungry for it. Keep going. I want it. Keep going for real. Um, Got to. For sure, it was real. That's um. Tell them where they can find you again. They can find me on YouTube. They can find me on Spinnerella, and they can follow me on Instagram. Mookie Kane, M O O K I E K A I N underscore. Yes, sir. And if you ain't already, go ahead and subscribe to Mimosas with Monet on YouTube. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Mimosas with Monet. Everything is spelled just the way it's supposed to be. M-O-N-E-T is Monet. Mimosas with Monet. Subscribe to Apple Podcasts. Like, comment, share, send it to your mama, your daddy, everybody. Give me, get him out there, get everybody out, like, just support the movement right now. It's going to be big. 704, we in here. We got we to blow up. For sure. For sure. Let's get it. Hey.